Yo, what is going on guys? It's your host, the one and only one Hennis. And today guys, I am bringing you another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare informational video over here onto my channel. Now quickly, before we jump into this video guys, if you have not gone and watched the official Call of Duty Infinite Warfare reveal trailer, be sure to go check that out. I'll have a link to it on screen now and also down there in the description below. The reason I want you guys to go watch that first is because we are going to be discussing some aspects of that reveal trailer in this video and I am going to be showing some snippets and stuff like that. So if you guys want to go and form your own generalized opinion before you watch the rest of this video then be sure to go do that like i said link on screen now and also in the description below but if you're still watching as of right now then you've probably already seen the reveal trailer so good job on your part on keeping up with the call of duty infinite warfare news now what we're actually going to be talking about today is the movement system in infinite warfare now as you guys know there were a lot of people who were extremely disappointed with the advanced warfare movement system that we had you know it was just too much of a big jump from what we had in call of duty ghosts and black apps 2 and pretty much all the call of duties before that they were all boots on the ground as you guys know but Call of Duty Advanced Warfare took that next step and said, all right, you know what we're going to do? Since Call of Duty Ghost was so gosh darn horrible, we're going to do something so insane that it could not possibly be worse than Call of Duty Ghost and see how the community reacts. So what they went ahead and did is they added exosuits to multiplayer and just to the entire aspect of the gameplay. So if you guys have never played Advanced Warfare, let's say you're brand new to the Call of Duty community. Essentially, all the way up until Advanced Warfare, we had a boots on the ground game. You know, there was no way for you to sort of jump up into the air. You know, obviously you could jump if you pressed A or space bar or I don't know what the hell the button is on PlayStation, but you could jump into the air, obviously, but with Advanced Warfare, there was sort of this exo boost jump. You wore this exo suit that allowed you to sort of move yourself throughout the air, thrust forward and backward, left to right, and it was just a whole different movement mechanic that we had never seen before in any Call of Duty, and it really caught a lot of people off guard. Some people liked it, some people didn't, so obviously there's a lot of real interest in whether or not we are going to be seeing that coming back here to Infinite Warfare. So, if you guys have seen the reveal trailer, and if you've done your homework, and you've thoroughly looked at the reveal trailer, then you will know that there is some thrusting movement confirmed in Infinite Warfare. Now, I'm going to show a little bit of a snippet from the reveal trailer on screen now. And you guys can clearly see off to the left, two people hurtling over, I don't know what this is, like some rubble or a car, or just a fortress or just a little hut. I don't even really know what it is. I'm just going off of memory. I haven't seen the reveal trailer recently, but you can clearly see them thrusting over it. Now, a lot of people are taking this to the extreme and thinking, oh my gosh, we're going to have thrusting movement in Infinite Warfare. I'm done. I can't possibly play the game. It's going to be absolutely horrible. But guys, please, you got to give Infinite word a chance here. Keep in mind, let's go all the way back to the Black Ops 2 trailer. We saw two things. We saw grappling hooks and we also saw wingsuits. Those were two things that we saw in the reveal trailer that did not come to Black Ops 2 multiplayer. And because they sort of put this off to the side and didn't even really make a big deal about it, maybe this is going to be something that you're only allowed to put on your character in campaign. Maybe this isn't even going to be something that you're going to allowed to have in multiplayer, but it is still something to consider. So let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. I'll definitely be interested to hear what you guys have to say because I think it's definitely up for discussion. You know, as you guys know, the exosuits were a big part of advanced warfare. And it looks like in this reveal trailer, they were not making the exosuit thrusting movement that we saw there on the left-hand side of the screen, a big part of the reveal trailer. So if they are adding it in, I don't think it's going to be a huge part of the game. And if they do, like I said, it may be a customizable thing that maybe you'll be able to choose to put on a multiplayer or better yet, it could be something that could only be coming to campaign, which in my opinion would be the best case scenario. But like I said, let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section below. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to smack that like button. Let's try and see if we can smash 50 likes on this video. That would honestly mean the world to me. I love bringing you guys these Call of Duty Infinite Warfare news videos because I think they're fun to discuss and it allows us to, you know, sort of get a feel for how the game is actually going to be before we actually get our hands on it in November. So if you guys want to check out the other videos on screen now in regards to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, then be sure to do that. I've covered some other topics over here on my channel that you guys may be interested in. So be sure to click those links on screen now. And if you guys watched up until this point in the video, comment down below, hashtag movement. That'll let me know that you guys watched this entire video. And anyway, Anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.